Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to congratulate the shareholders, management, and employees of a very special family-owned business in the Northern Mariana Islands as they celebrate their company's 60th anniversary. Jotun Enterprises, Inc., or simply Jotun, as it is known to local residents, began with Jose Camacho Tenorio and his wife, Soledad Duenas Takai, selling beer and soft drinks to soldiers and sail sailors on Saipan right after World War II. Jotun and Daire, as everyone called the Tenorios, gradually grew their quintessential mom and pop operation into a diversified multi-million dollar corporation. Today, Jotun Enterprises encompasses not only retail shopping outlets, but also wholesale, shipping and stevedoring, car dealership and auto service, hotel, real estate, construction and material supply, hardware, insurance, bakery, and daily businesses. They have hundreds of employees, including many that have been a part of the company for decades. It is difficult to imagine our principal island of Saipan 60 years ago. The war had destroyed virtually all of the fiscal and commercial infrastructure. Residents found some work with the US military or lived on government handouts. So for newlyweds, Jotun and Daidai, to take the great entrepreneurial leap of faith and open a corner grocery store in the village of Chalan Kanoa was a significant step, not only in their own lives, but in the reconstruction of the island economy. Jotun and Daidai sacrificed much and worked long hours to build their small business. Jotun was lucky enough to have a government job but it was constantly networking, planning, and then carefully executing a variety of adaptations and expansions to grow the business. Daida supervised the store during the day, balancing the books while caring for and feeding the couple's growing family. The four daughters and two sons of Jotun and Daida, Annie, Clarence, Norman, Patricia, Francis, and Priscilla, began their own education in business at an early age right there in the store. Their parents' example and tough but caring attitude taught the children to work hard to get what they wanted from life. They learned that personal discipline was key to success. And as each of the children grew, they took on their own increasingly important roles within the burgeoning Jotun Enterprises. Jotun passed on in 1993, died in 2008 but their six children continued to run the many businesses since their parents began. And the children of Jotun and Daida shared their parents' values with their own children. So the lessons Jotun and Daida imparted continue to be practiced by a third generation of entrepreneurs. As retold by the Tenorio children and grandchildren, one of the most important of these lessons was that to a large degree, the company's success is the result of the teamwork of the company's loyal and dedicated managers and employees. In that spirit, we salute them all, owners, managers, employees. Hand in hand, may they continue to prosper in the next decade, guided by the vision and spirit of the company's founding couple, Jotun and Daidai. And I yield back the balance of my time.